Alright, hello everybody. So we're playing Super Cassette Vision tonight. Been waiting patiently for this. Been saving up. With all the bits and everything past couple months. Um, I would lift the console to show you. Well, I guess I could, it should be alright. These are the controllers. Isn't that the cutest little knob you've ever seen? Look at that. We've, it's like we've got a mascot now for the stream. Look at it. So, one button here on the side. Very clicky. Button here on the side. Press both together to press start. And then, of course, you have the knob, which, you know, not too much movement. But, you know, just as long as you're touching the tip, it should be fun. Don't want to break it. Thanks, Andrew. Wait, hold on. How come my alerts aren't working? One moment. Oh, because it's not visible. That would make sense. Let's replay that for you. Thanks for the 19 months, Andrew. Looking forward to the return of AGG. Yeah, well, we'll see. Can't promise anything. Um, there's two controllers. The cord is only three feet long, so I practically have to have the console sitting on top of me. But there are two. Looking forward to the return of AGG. Both of which are different colors on their label to tell the difference between them. This is the console, as you can see. Carts are very colorful, by the way. Uh, Lupin the Third has a very bright pink. There's a little lid here that you can store the controllers in. Um, there's a numeric keypad here for menu selections and whatnot. Uh, reset. And there's actually a pause button too, which is always good. Game boxes look like this. They are very cute, very small. So here's the loop on the third box. Um, front flap opens to reveal where they keep a itsy bitsy little manual. Tiniest little manual you've ever seen. You know, just some general controls and screenshot kind of stuff. And then I will show you how a cartridge would fit in one of these. So I'll just take this one for example, pop it open, and manual comes out. Cartridge fits perfectly right in this little compartment here. And this one's a bright orange color. Very, very colorful. Which I love. And then they slide. They slide in really nicely. Hold on, let me show you. Oh, let me get some ASMR going for that. Ready? Make sure I'm talking so it picks it up. There you go. Thanks, Josh, for the Twitch Prime as well. 27 months. Oh, I forgot to put the manual in here. Hold on. Uh, put this back in with the game it's supposed to be with. This came out in 1984. Came out a year after the Famicom. Didn't last long. So I gotta press the select key, which is number 7 on the console. And then we gotta choose the difficulty. Um, so we're gonna do one player AMA, which means amateur, which is the easier difficulty. Press number 1, and then press start on the controller. Jump and punch. Don't ask me to know anything about Lupin the Third. So if you notice something where you're like, oh, that's from such and such, yeah, I have no idea. Let me turn up that hot volume for you guys, though. One thing you're going to notice about a lot of these games, they are super, super colorful. And they have some really great little cute animations. I was really drawn to this console. I'm usually not drawn to too many 
8-bit consoles, but this one just struck a chord with me. Oh, of course I have prize, of course. Okay. Gonna have to get used to the pressure sensitivity of the jump button on this controller. There's like 30 games. 30, 33, something like that. It also came out in France, specifically. And that was it. And they only got about half the library of games. So, Felomar, sure in luck. Oh shit! Okay, that's definitely something that falls after you collect it. This is actually an extremely short game, so I can imagine the difficulty is crazy. Is this game actually random? Yeah, there's a different item here this time. And there's a different ordering to the enemies. So it is actually random. You can see my progress through the level on the bottom of the screen. Oh, didn't fire off my punch. I think I have lives too in the top right. Yeah, because look, now I got a ring here. Apparently I can't collect it. Oh, I can. Gotta do that Mario jump. Jump! Oh, what the heck? Okay, I gotta figure out how you get out of the crouching stance. Yeah, it's extra lives. Totally random, by the way. Because now we- look at the pattern we have here. Normally I've been able to walk past them when they're about head level, but not that one. Okay. A little awkward to hold this controller, not gonna lie. I'm gonna stop from now on. You don't have to stop the punch, but I'm gonna i I'm gonna stop. Oh no. You gotta be shitting me. Okay, I'm assuming I'm supposed to jump and punch that. Controller looks like this. Buttons on the top sides of it. Jump and punch. And movement with the little knob. Oh, shoot. I thought that maybe that would just go into the water, but no, it, you have to jump over that too. Game is not playing around. That's fine. Get my lives restocked anyway. Yeah, 
Yeah, but people would have no idea what this, the badge would actually be. It's too hard to make something like that. I think the thing that makes this game even harder is, like, you know, obviously using the controller part of the challenge. Oh, come on. I tried to collect the ring at the same time as jumping over the bat, didn't quite work. Um, it's not really spongy, they're kind of loose, so you gotta, like, use some force on them. You can't, like, soft tap them, you gotta press them in pretty hard. So you gotta use quite a bit of force. That was, that's a evil combo right there. Hear the ice cream man. I have my window open. Dog barking at the ice cream man. Okay, this is pretty forgiving. Oh shit. Whew. to the end of purple. Yes, we can. But I shouldn't speak so soon. Nice. Turn the other way, oh my god. Are you kidding me? Excuse me? Now it's getting hard. No, you're looking up the cassette vision living room. This is the super cassette vision. The skills right there, holy shit. Oh god. Oh, I'm so dead. Oh, man, that is... that is no joke right there. Joshua Blades coming in with the tier 3 34 months. What's up, Josh? Appreciate it, as always. How are you tonight? Hello, Dimension. 
Just gotta find a nice way to brace the controller. <sighs> See, I didn't press the jump hard enough. It on my leg, maybe. That may be a bad choice, actually. You gotta be shitting me. Jesus. Only imagine how hard green is. The thing is, the knob is like so, so short, and the movement isn't really like, it's hard to describe. It is being made a lot harder by using this knob, I'll tell you that, but it's part of the experience, right? Mr. Dave, hello Dave. Thank you for the 13 months in a row. Oh sh I knew I should have ducked. I think I'm dead. Lady Super Cassette Vision is like pretty much elusive, so there's no point in waiting a lifetime to try and get one. Plus, I'm sure if one came up, it would be far too fucking expensive to even consider it. Getting better ducking, getting the right angle on it. back a little bit. Oh my god, it almost didn't jump in time. Eight lives for level two. Can do this. Totally did not get on the right side of that spring. Comfy darkness. 
An entire 49 months. <laughs> Thank you, Kofi. Just one short of a 50 month streak. Wow, it's just like I'm watching the anime. Pretty much, right? It's pretty accurate. You know, I checked the wiki on Loop. Uh, Lupin third games, and god damn it, there are a lot of games for this series. But the really surprising thing is, this is the only one that is just straight up called Lupin the third, with no subtitle. Every other one has a subtitle. Oh boy, this is not good. That right angle. Oh god. That is just freaking evil. There is nothing to do there. RNG God's not on my side. Oh, the arcade game doesn't have a subtitle? They don't call it, like, Lupin the Third Arcade or anything? like it's decent luck. Oh my god. What the heck was that? This is actually way more intense than I was anticipating, I'm not gonna lie about this. Man, who needs Bubsy when you can play this game, right? It's pretty much a an auto runner, but it's not an auto runner. Oh my god. That was the end of the stage right there. Look at the line. All I had to do is get past that freaking rock. Hey, Nick Nick, been a bit. Welcome back. So the bat's like, it's not just a set height of like, okay, top, middle, bottom. It's like, there's varying heights where you actually have to be paying attention to like pixel height. Because some of them are just high enough where you can hit your head on them. Some of them are just high enough to miss a punch. Are you kidding me right now? This game is pretty hard, but it's a fun kind of hard, because you know the end is near. There's only three levels, so it's like the drive to keep going is quite strong. Can you guys hear the controller ASMR? Or is it too low? My controller is sitting pretty damn close to my mic. Can you hear the clickiness? When I'm like adjusting and stuff? Not melee? Okay. Ooh, 
the combos. Oh no. Hell yeah. Don't screw me. Come on. Oh my god! If I only, like, had forward momentum there, but I don't think if you jump straight you can get forward momentum. That freaking rock at the end, combined with that hill, and not being able to backtrack. Uh, no, there's a, there's a little controller that um, is attached to the console. It's one of the cutest little controllers I've ever seen, honestly. Oh, that's just evil. Hard is hard, but this especially. Come on. Oh, I messed. I jumped too early because I was trying to compensate for the bat. Looked like I might have had a good pattern too. Last life. That one would have killed me. See how it's just a tiny bit lower? Like, that one might too. But they're high- Damn it, it wouldn't go back up. They're high enough so that my punch wouldn't hit them. Game end. Try again. Need to at least try and beat yellow level. No, this one is more stylized. Like, I'm pretty sure they want him to be running like that. I'll show you other examples. That'll be a bit more impressive visually. for Lupin third, you know? Intense. Should be able to punch this. Yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> that was barely even touching my pixel.
No, they're not actual cassettes. In Japan, they don't really call them carts like we do. Like, even today, they kind of just still call them cassettes. Like an actual, just straight-up game cart. Oh, I thought I could have maybe jumped over that. He was a little too high. I find everything, Chris. Doesn't matter how deep under that rock, I will find it. I'll show you the cart again after... Well, I'll show you every time I switch games, because every cart is a different color, which I think is awesome. And they are super bright. <sighs> I should have waited longer. Too impatient. Um, yeah, so this is, like, honestly, it might be the first. I don't really, I don't know the history on it. But yeah, it does natively support RGB built into the console. I did have, that's why I had to wait, because I had to order a better cable, because the one from Japan did not work with my television. So I had to order a really fucking expensive cable, by the way. Well, I'm glad it works and looks good. Yeah, the JP-21, which doesn't work. <laughs> so close. No! I just couldn't wait though, I had to take the chance, because if I slowed down, the cop would've got me. Yeah, so on the bottom, the first level is purple, second is yellow, third is green. Obviously, the further you go in, the harder it gets. Because enemy and obstacle placement, or at least I think enemy placement, is completely random, so you never know what you're gonna get. Yeah, I'll show the controllers and cart again after I change games. This will probably be my last attempt at beating Yellow for now, just so we can show other things. Well, until I run out of lives, that is. What happens there? Why is he exploding? Come on. Ugh. Yes, come on. Finally. Okay. Last level. Oh, the bomb dropped it on his head, that's funny. Now we've got giant snakes to contend with. I don't know what their hitboxes are like, so... Oh, are you kidding me? Okay. Got 
got two lives to try and make it to the end. Like, how are you supposed to deal with the snake? It's just like instant death because they stop you from moving. Uh, this is the only game on Super Cassette Vision with a speedrun. But he uses emulator, obviously, and that's going to pose huge advantages with the controls. Because being able to play this with a keyboard or an actual, like, controller would do wonders. But it is a speedrunner that only speedruns loop on the third games, which I think is kind of cool. Oh, all right. Well, I got the, at least I understand the hitbox now. That tongue extends the hitbox quite a bit. Damn. Close. Well, that was actually super fun. I will for sure revisit that and try and beat that. Potentially try and beat the record. So this is the cart, once again. Uh, the cool thing about the carts, they actually put the controls on the front label for how to play the game. And then the spine has the name of the game. Lupin the Third is... A very bright pink cart. And then, obviously I'm showing this over and over because people are coming in and they're curious how I was playing it. Cradle it in my hand, palm it like this. Knob it. Knob it up with this little tiny cute knob. Get that knob ASMR for you. Right there. You can hear the loose plastic buttons. Pretty clicky. Um, you do have to press with quite a bit of pressure though to get the the buttons to register, but that's okay. Put this back in its respective box, and if you're joining one, this will probably be one of the last times I show these until a bit later, just so it doesn't get too repetitive. Um, box. Self-explanatory. Cart. Slips in like this. Manual. Flips in the little sleeve, then you close it. Alright, next game. Now you might be like, well, those graphics aren't that impressive. Well, I will show you a game that is honestly pretty freaking mind-blowing, personally, I think. Blows away anything that the NES can do, I think. Um, but you'd be the judge of that in terms of what this game is trying to pull off. So this game's color, we have a light sky blue cartridge. That is this game's color. It's pretty much F-Zero, 1984. So we're going to do fantasy, one player, fantasy is the first world, and here we go. Are you ready? I am ready. Okay. Thank you, game. Look at this fucking oh. intro. How badass is this? Speed up is right button. Then I can shoot with left. Yep, 
Yep, and it's already got the speedrun counter. I don't know, I personally like the graphics of this quite a bit. I know the NES can probably do a little bit better, but like, the fact that there's, remember, there's no flickering, there's no slowdown, like, there's no sprite flickering. If the NES tried to do this shit, it would be pretty flickery. Like, it's pretty smooth. Now, I don't know specifically if, like, pressing up or anything would go faster. Okay, I think I was overheating there. I had to let go of Accelerate. That is the max speed sound, apparently, by the way, in case you're wondering. Feels like I'm playing Outrun, like, I gotta let it on the acceleration to, uh, make these turns. Thanks, game. Look at that. Words of encouragement. I gotta beat whoever has that 105 on this cart, though. Bastards. I won't let them live that down. Now we do adventure. One player. 201. That shot does, like what it's supposed to try and do. I've been trying to shoot these guys. Oh, it looks like it actually does blast them off the road. It's actually pretty challenging to make these turns, by the way, in case you're wondering. Like, to do that turn, I'm having to throttle my accelerator. Like, it seriously feels like I'm playing Outrun right now. I knew Outrun was training me for something, for this moment. So when I blink like that, that means that I, I hit the edge, and then I have to let go of the accelerator to kind of recover. I made the top three. I don't think two. I think two hundred one is the top. The third time, so I think yeah. So the the winning time is making top three, but obviously it's not the best time. Damn, that is a pretty hardcore time. Are you ready? Okay. I know, right? Who needs Team Sonic Racing? They go later. Wait, did it just... I think it threw me back into the same level. That's fine. Sure, I beat that time. Oof, good turn. Ooh, shot him right out of the way, and he blew up. That's cool.
I wonder if this is random too, or if it's predetermined every time. Something tells me it actually might be random, I don't know. Maybe not because there's level selects. I thought I could speak by him. I'm gonna be the 149, was it? Definitely not beating a 149, let alone a 203 this time. Nice try. <laughs> yeah, I put on some techno. Do competition. Are you ready? Okay. Gone. I don't know what the difference between competition is and the other tracks. Yeah, this is a new system. Okay, I'm pretty sure letting go of accelerator speeds up the recovery time there. What? What caused me to spin out? I must have hit something in the track. Good hit. Didn't let go of accelerate long enough there. That one was a different color. It makes me wonder if maybe I was supposed to take them out. Nice try. See, this one has a different time. 147. The other one was like a 148, wasn't it? Now this one is a Are different track because this is 143. Okay. This one is no joke. Ooh. Nice shot. You guys actually have no 
I, eventually, maybe I'll add like a controller cam to these games because you have no idea how much I'm like trying to counter steer and adjust as I'm going through these turns. It's pretty hardcore. Like, it's not just pressing right to do what I just did there. This is like outrun or F0 levels of like. Well, maybe that's not a good comparison, but just imagine sort of like really having to account for quite a few things making these turns. His outrun, I don't really ever slow down, so... This one, you definitely slow down. They're shooting me, that's what that is. So those red orbs... I can't reveal that, Johnny. Gotta keep it a surprise, Johnny. Because then people will know once I'm starting to get down towards the end. But I've got enough for now. Dodge. Well, I made the top three. Man, whoever had this cart before me, they're pretty, pretty decent. Pretty decent times. Are you ready? Okay. Gone. Recover? I'm not, maybe there's a way to like recover faster, I don't know. I'm gonna try some different things. Okay, I did not realize that they can come back up from behind. Uh, three games have battery save. The cartridges would actually be larger. I do not have any battery save games. But from what I've read, this would be the first system with like actual battery saves in a cart for a game. The first to do it. Levels are ramping up. Letting go of accelerator. I don't know. I can't tell if I'm gonna have to give the manual or something a look, or see if I can find out online. See if I can watch someone else play and see if they have a way of um, reducing the amount of time. Oh, I have. I have, um, that number in the top right is my amount of shots that I have, so I can't spam weapons infinitely. Didn't quite make that top three, though. Let me just see that menu again. Fantasy Adventure Competition A, Competition B. I wonder what is determining, because after I beat competition A, it moved me on to another level. And I think I beat the first stage of B, right? So I, I'm not really sure how they're determining how you move on. Like how many levels are in each course selection. Let me try one more time for that top time in fantasy. See if we've got that competitive edge. 119.01. No, that's the third place time. The top time, I think, was a 105. Are you ready? Which is freaking crazy. Okay. Gone. 
gonna try avoid shooting these because then that means I have to dodge an extra thing. I'm only gonna shoot if absolutely necessary. Like here, my. Oh, they don't fire back in this one. Oh, I think I got it. <laughs> we got the 104. Number one on the cartridge. Yeah, this is a uh, RGB SCART cable. Wait, so the first one was what, Fantasy? What was the name of the one I just did before? Was that Fantasy? I can't tell if there's like multiple races. I think there are actually, so it looks like you have to make the top three. And then they'll, um... Then we'll be on to the next race in that course. So I have to be the 151 or two. Maybe? I don't honestly know how it works yet. Just moved out of the way because I wasn't sure if they're going to fire back yet. Didn't let go of accelerator long enough there. That's a top time. Nice try. We got it. Getting better. Now let me pay attention to fantasy. Okay, so there are multiple races per course. Oh, I don't know how many. There might be three. Uh, are you ready? Oh, I was a sucker for games that faked 3D. So, like, this would have absolutely blew my mind. Had I played this, like... Well, I wasn't even born in 84. But, had I played this, like, you know, when I was appreciating games, this would have... Uh, like, I would have been over the moon with this kind of game. controllers in. Okay, that guy's invincible, I guess. Oh, it is cool. I was really looking forward to this game quite a bit, and it doesn't disappoint. Like, the fact that these turns are actually super freaking challenging makes this addicting. Because you actually have to have skill to make these turns. Like, I'm letting go of accelerate, adjusting, like, there's so many micromanagements that I'm doing for these. And the, the sprite scaling, like, does a really good job of kind of letting me know how the turn is approaching. And it's visually appealing, like, a lot of these kind of games can be kind of ugly. This one looks badass. I 
I don't know if I made this one. That was a little slow. Oh no, I, I'm good. I got it. Okay. Nice try. I'm ready. A -okay. I think he says A-okay. I've been trying to figure out what he says Gone. after I confirm that I'm ready. Ooh, that was close. What's up, Rusty? You guys wanted a new F-Zero, right? Well, better get yourselves a Super Cassette Vision and a copy of this game. This is the closest you're going to get. How did your uh, Outrun 2 attempts go, by the way, Philip Marsh? Later on, did you get any... Any improvements after the 431? Oh, I was not paying attention there. I'm gonna assume as we get deeper into the races, there's gonna be less room for error. Not at the end. No! Our watch ends here, unfortunately. Didn't make the top three. I like the game over music, it's so dramatic. What a cool freaking game. Just listen to that music. See, even the freaking AI hits the wall, that's how you know it's hard. Star Speeder. I will definitely be back to that one. Okay. Now this this next one is probably my most anticipated game to play on this console. Tons and tons of potential this game has. And uh, it might surprise some of you. As well as me. Cartridge for this one is a very... Well, not so exciting, like, tannish... Brown color. This is YY Monsterland. This has nothing to do with Wonder Boy. 
subscribe panel is broken. Oh, is it? That's odd. So, like, clicking on that doesn't bring you to the correct channel? Alright. So this is a horror-themed platformer. Like, actual platformer. Not like Lupin the Third platformer. This is... This is a platformer. So we get to choose which level I go to first. So let's just go here, I guess. Kind of cool that they allow that. We're in Frankenstein's house. This is a momentum platformer, by the way, so... Let's hope I don't freaking run into something. So, like, when I stop running, he continues to move for a little bit. It's not like he's stopping dead. Love the little character uh, sprites. What is this? Hmm. Oh my goodness. Not sure what that is. Come on. There we go. Like I said, momentum based. Like, do I have to press up to jump higher? No. I think I gotta get a running start. Yeah, you gotta get it. See, but the, the odd thing is... Yeah, you start on the left side when you jump up there to the right. Okay, so to do this... Looks like I gotta get a running start from here. Oh, shit. Okay, they respawn. Secrets hidden in this. It's telling me to go back left because I have the cross now? Really? I can't shoot? I left my cr Oh shit! So it's like a baby Mario kind of thing going on here. <laughs> what? He stole my cross? Who? I think they're telling me this enemy has my weapon, but I guess I have to punch him, maybe? It's definitely not traditional in the sense that you can jump on them. I'm gonna wait for the respawn. We found Frankenstein, or Frankenstein's monster, and got completely wrecked by him. Okay, I'll go to the same level. Ready? Speedrun strats. Okay, maybe not. This game's too hard for that right now. Did 
take that back. Pretty sure you can make that jump. And just like that, we're back to where I was. Oh my god. That jump is so tricky. I gotta figure out how I get more height on my jumps. Could be a diagonal thing I gotta do with the knob. I'm thinking it is, actually. Yeah, that's what it looks like. But it's not the easiest to hit the diagonal directly. Oh my god, that jump is freaking hard. No! Tricky. I'm assuming I need to be hitting him like that and not like getting behind him or something. Maybe I do need to jump behind him. Oh, I'm thinking that's what it is. Ooh, that's a really high jump. Fuck. Okay, I think they want me to make that high jump behind him. But I'm going to have to get used to, like, how to actually do that. Seems like if I hold, like, the same up left, or up right, rather, position on the knob and jump, it will always give me the desired height. Yeah. So it's an angular thing. Nice! The speedrun strats. And then I fall. Let me see if there's another way to do this. Damn it. Oh, too high now. So close. Getting it, though. I can get back there really fast now. Oh, I went to a different level by mistake. Alright. Mummy's Forest. He stole my weapon. How do I get it back from him? I mean, there's only two buttons and a knob. So there's gotta be some way. Well, 
What the hell? That... That can't be doable. Oh, okay. It doesn't kill me. I gotta figure out how you get the weapon back from an enemy. Oh, I'm alright, Epic. Just a little, a little warm right now. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Okay, I got the right angle. Okay. Not a buzzsaw of death. But this is... Oh my god. Damn! I can't figure out how you get the weapon back. Yeah, I'm just as surprised as you were living through that part. Maybe I'm choosing, like, the hardest level. I should maybe try the one that it defaults the position to. It does move on its own. Maybe I don't need my weapon. Oh, there it is. Missed the god jump. That jump, though, is really hard, which is why I'm trying to avoid doing it that way. No. Oh, he's gone. Oh my god. Okay, I can't do this without the weapon, though. Oh! Please don't make me need the cross to finish the level. Okay, maybe I need to do... Okay. You gotta be kidding me, game that. Okay, they do expect me to do that. Wait, can I jump on these? Oh, those don't kill me. They're not buzzsaws of doom, but they do move. Holy shit. That's a jump. But it looks like I need to actually... Oh, no. He's back. I was pressing fire, damn it. Damn. I made it so far. Alright, let's see where the checkpoint is.
Maybe I can get up there. There we That's got to be the end of the level. What is that? No, you don't, enemy. Okay. And these levels are big. Is that invisible platform? Yeah, this is RGB. Wait a minute, excuse me. How? What the heck? Maybe I'm missing something about how you're supposed to be able to complete these levels. Hey, Joe's. Stretch my fingers from this controller, holy moly. Couldn't you crouch? Was that a thing? Oh, you're right, I forgot about that. Thank you, Gazebo. We did it? Holy moly, I did it. <sighs> One level down. That was actually kind of fun with Frankenstein popping up. Now we get to choose. Let's go here. Not a good start. Oh, look at the wolf climbing the tree. Oh, shit. That's a cool character straight. Whoa! Okay, we're playing Mario 3 now. What the fuck? I went up in the sky. Can I, like, yeah, I need to get back in the center of the screen. Gotta get that momentum jump. Kinda need my weapon here. I think I'm dead. Oh wait, I can crawl. Forgot. I love that crawl animation. There we go. That's what I mean about these cassette vision games. Like, some of the animations and shit that you'll see in them are just so goddamn cute. Uh, how we do this? Ooh. There's gotta be something hidden over there, right? Like, why would they send me over there? There's gotta be something hidden, like an extra life or something. I had no weapon. So when I lose my cross, they want me to, like, backtrack. Which, obviously, I chose not to do.
Yeah, you you better guard. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Get baited. Ah, oh, you bastard. Oh, that's tricky. What a fun game, but holy crap is this intense. Like, the plat- I'm platforming with this bullshit right now, by the way. Like, I'm doing this shit with this little tiny knob that has barely any movement to it. Like, look at this. That's it. Always That's enjoy all I get. streams. Alright, and I'm doing these crazy directional jumps. Because it's not just like- you have to hit these specific directions. There's eight directions on this. And then... Jump button. Gotta push that shit in pretty hard, and then... Shoot. <laughs> Thanks, Necrodromancer. Appreciate the eight months. Alright, let's go to the level I haven't done yet. Fish Monster's Pond. Oh boy. Eat your heart out, water levels in Mario. Oh shoot, there actually are swimming controls. So I hold jump to swim. Actually, I can just move with the right stick. That's a hell of a lot nicer. Actually, <laughs> these controls are not bad for an underwater level, I have to say. Oh no! Oh shit! Go up! Okay, you have to admit that shit's a nice touch right there. My face turned red. Come on. Oh, the skills right there. Apparently, there's still fireworks underwater. I understood. Oh. Oh, okay. Hit the jump. Oh, I can't. I had to use the shoot button the whole time. I guess that's like a bonus stage. Please don't take away a life. Okay. Look at these sprites. Come on, that is awesome. Fish was out to get me. Ooh, I misjudged that. Didn't expect to shoot down so fast. I really hope to beat this one day. I would love to see what the last level is, like what the boss is. I would assume it's gonna be Dracula or something. I mean, you can probably look at the cover and tell. Oh, that was me looking at the actual cover. PK Blazon. Testing my pause function on this, by the way. <laughs> I know what you're calling out to. You want a Vectrex stream, don't you? You may get your wisps eventually, PK. Sooner rather than later. Thank you very much for the thousand bits, by the way. Testing my Vectrex knowledge, you thought you were. But that's one of my favorites. Not an actual cassette tape. Don't forget, carts in Japan are almost universally referred to as cassettes. Almost hit the reset button. No weapon. Uh oh. We need air fast. Go! Quickly! Ah! Oh. Go! Go! Oh! Oh, okay. Man, that lasts a while. I actually really like this underwater stage, I'm not gonna lie. Oh. The controls are way better than you would expect, even though they're still really, like, loose and slippery. Oh, 
Oh my god. No! That is- that's a tough part right there. You kidding me? There's got to be, like, secrets in this game, I know it. There's too many, like, little hidden rooms and stuff off to the side to not hide something, like extra lives. That'll be exploring for another day. transition. <laughs> Uh-oh. I can't get up in time. Dead. Yeah, it's it's all momentum, so if you don't get the right run, you're not gonna make it. Ooh. Okay. Well, I mean, it is a game about monsters and spooky castles, so... Oh! Oh! He caught me. Think that's my last life. Yep. Okay. Let's go to um this middle level here. I don't think I've been to this one. Oh no, I oh this is the mummy level. Did not mean to jump that high, but because I was running so fast, it kind of just auto-shot me. What the heck was that? Oh, that was my weapon. Thought I had covered something secret there. <laughs> These momentum jumps. Okay, I see how they want me to take this. Gotta be like down here. Oh, haven't made it here yet. Oh, look at this guy. That's the mummy. <laughs> That's cute. How do I do this? Interesting. Hidden block? Wow, there are actually hidden secrets in this game. Oh, I can't shoot when I'm ducking. That's a hard one. Oh, 
time zones. Hey, we made it. That's the first bonus level I've finished. And immediately die. enough running speed and I go the wrong way again damn oh tell you this game is gonna test the longevity of this controller <laughs> you can hear this shit <laughs> I'm losing I'm losing feeling in my right index finger. Let me see if I have a pillow to rest my elbow on at least. Yeah. This is this is the controller time zones that I am contending with right now. Oh, did I get my weapon back? Oh no, I didn't. Hello, Dan. How the hell am I going to do this now? Oh, shit, alright. Alright. Oh, my god. Oh, my god, get up there. This is my last life, by the way. This game is intense. More so because of this controller. But, you know, that's part of the charm. Oh! My god! No? I don't have a weapon again, by the way. Oh my god. How am I going to do this without a weapon? I'm going to go for it, ready? we got to get the timing right. i got to run and jump as soon as he's on the left. Oh. Okay. Maybe I need to wait until he's on the right. Probably so close to the end. Oh, well, that was fun. 
Hi, DMV Security. Welcome back. Man, that is... I gotta give my right arm a break from that one. These levels are really long. Let's go one more round at, um... Let's see. The one I still haven't seen is the Green Castle and obviously the one in the top right. Um, the water one is actually kind of fun. I want to do that one again. Let's see if I can get to the top level. Well, yeah, they expect you to play through it in one go. It seems short enough, right? Doesn't seem like there's too many levels. Damn it. What? The, how did that go over him? Damn, I got wrecked there. I mean, they do give you checkpoints, which most of these games never gave you checkpoints. So that's kind of nice. I'm gonna bypass the bonus level. is apparently this way, so I should get it back. Yeah, you're just not used to the retro, that's all. Playing too many in the modern games. Oh, the skill to get through there. Okay. Don't compliment myself. If I've ever learned that, bad things will always come of it. This is getting fairly close to where it was last time before I died. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, I think this is around where I died. So we're making good progress. shoot here is pretty bad. Okay. Good timing. No! Oh my god, I got caught on the corner. Please give me a good checkpoint. That's his arm, by the way, okay? Just wanna let you guys know. Very important to have this weapon for here. I feel the end coming. Oh shit! 
Just run right by him. Why not, right? Got it. We beat a level, we get to see a new one. How exciting. Dracula's house. They even got English. Never imagined Dracula to be one for hot pink, but here we are. What's that about some Castlevania collection that came out recently? Psh. All about YY Monsterland. I think I actually might try and go back for my cross, to be honest. Okay, never mind, that's a horrible idea. Oh my god. Yep, the jump, unfortunately, is just not low enough for that. Damn it. Well, we got to see some of Dracula's castle. Oh yeah, the box art of this game is badass. Fun game. Challenging, but very fun. We will definitely return to that. heavy hitters out of the way first. This one's got some awesome looking sprites. Very cute. Oh, the cart for this is a, uh, like an ocean greenish blue kind of color I'll show you after. Doraemon. Now I gotta figure out how to completely understand how to play this one. From what I watched, it didn't look too hard. Okay, I gotta go and collect all my friends. Okay, that's an enemy. Kinda reminds me of Hotel Mario, too. a weapon or anything? Oh, that's right, you collect weapons. Oh god. <laughs> Mouse got me. I was cornered. Okay, I gotta get up to him. Looks like I get a weapon if I get up there. Bearcats! Oh shit! Is that my friend? Yes, come here. Oh, come on. Oh god. Thank you, Bearcats, for the one year. Congrats on the new knob. Thanks for the full year of support. Oh, hello. Thank you for the weapon. How do I use it? Oh, there's my girlfriend. Yeah, you're probably right about that one, Rock Solid.
Looks like I gotta collect all the items. Hello. Thank you. And now she gives me flying powers, hell yeah. Thank you. What's her name again? What's what's the the yellow cat's name? Any of you hardcore Doraemon fans? Get it, get it, get it. Okay. Two more. Then I'm very curious to see what happens. Oh, shoot. No! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I was one away. Yeah, I saw that you got a time up on the board stand. That's awesome. Congrats. It beat Bovine. Oh, I, oh wow. This, you know, I gotta say, some of these Super Cassette Vision games are very generous with actually giving me checkpoints. I was not expecting that. Wow. Oh my god, look at that dinosaur. That may be one of the cutest sprites I've ever seen. He's got some moves on him, look at him. Oh! Okay, dead. Is that a wormhole? She comes through a freaking wormhole. Teleports in. Give me that. Whatever that is. I think it's a boxing glove. Oh my god. No. I'm pretty sure I have to get to her. I would like to imagine... <laughs> He's dancing. Either that or he's got worms. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm pretty sure I need to be able to get the boxing glove and then clear the caveman away until I can get to the, the girl. Oh shit. What the hell? Well, oh, that's messed up. What does that thing do? Maybe it allows me to pull them to safety or something. Or maybe it corrals the pterodactyls.
I do like how every level seems to be a tiny bit different than the other. Like, this one's about collecting items and avoiding this one enemy, and obviously the mice. And then the dinosaur level seems to be more about strictly dodging enemies. Damn. And also combat. I'm thinking if I'm up top, that might be a little better, because I think I would have more opportunities to be able to escape. Oh no. Okay, we're good. So is this accurate to the show that he's scared of mice? A cat that's scared of mice? That speed tech though, look how fast I moved there. Go back in, good. So the one thing that this console had going for it, like, one of the big things for advertising... Oh, I might be dead. Yeah. Is that it can display up to 128 sprites. Which is pretty damn impressive. And at the very end of the stream, I'm going to show you guys something to show you what the, the true potential of this console could have been. But not until the end. Dental end. He bit off his ears and made him blue? Okay, that's... that's funny. Nice timing. Damn. So it does seem like each specific weapon is tied to a certain enemy. So the rope is probably for pterodactyls, boxing gloves for cavemen, and something else is for the dinosaur T-Rex. Lulu, oh, there she is. Lulu plus, thank you for seven months. Every time I see your name, it makes me remember Final Fantasy X. Appreciate it. Okay, what the hell? Oh. Oh, that's not a good spawn. This level is not easy. What the hell? I'm assuming this has something to do with the show, too. What does this do? Thanks, fellow Marsh. Thanks for stopping in. Oh, you? Go down. Down! Oh, no. That's the guy that was going after me last level. The controls, I'm like fighting with them.
got quite the banger of a song on this one, I'll tell you that. Thank God. Now what the hell am I supposed to do? I would think, like, maybe it's the amount of enemies I defeat, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Maybe I need to knock these cavemen... Oh, you know what? Maybe I need to knock these cavemen into the other enemies. Like, into the dinosaurs. That's possible. Kind of trapped there, nothing I can do. Am I gonna watch the new Godzilla? Absolutely. Can't wait for that movie. I think I'm almost looking forward to that more than Star Wars, but that's maybe a bit of a stretch, but I'm really looking forward to it. Pickups. It also seems like if I can find like just the right angle, I can actually fly pretty damn fast. Smooth. Just missed her. mistake. I should have been paying attention to all the rats. Good luck there. Come on, come on. Nice. Hey, yeah, let's finally figure this out. And I might be right in my assumption, because the cavemen are the only enemies I can hit. And I'm assuming I need to knock them into dinosaurs. I don't really need this power-up, to be honest. I don't even know what that does. Oh, they're following me now, okay. I gotta bring them to the door. Come, come. Oh. What? Nice. I wonder how many times I have to do that. I guess however many main characters there are. Like him. Okay. I sneak around back. Before the dinosaur gets there, the caveman. Oh my god. No. Ah. Uh. 
Oh, shoot. He actually went in the door. But I'm not that fortunate this time. This level is tough. you can't punch the dinosaurs. I need to be paying attention to where the yellow doors are a little bit better. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Uh-oh. Go back? Oh no, he's not going back. Oh my god. Oh, he caught me with this freaking wing. Okay, the top is very dangerous. Um, the better way to sum it up, though, Raven is more so just uh, trying to be a competitor to the NES. Came out a year late. Didn't end well. However, the cassette vision was apparently pretty damn big in Japan. Sold 400,000. You gotta be kidding me. He's guarding him. Ability. But not for him. Got him. Oh, we got two. Save my progress. Which would explain why it failed. If they're coming out with this to be a competitor to the NES, I mean... Well, you see where that got them. Not quite sure what the shoes are gonna do for me. Oh. Maybe that's what they do. I think there's probably two more. Damn it. Sit down, sir. Keep going that way. Don't let any cavemen come up behind me. They're like, oh, I kind of want that. Going for it. The fucking wing hitbox is ridiculous. She's gone because the sprite left the screen. I can't get up there. That's a little too. Ooh. Thank you. Oh, I thought that was the invincibility. No, that was the air cannon. Oh, man, that's a hard game. 
We're gonna try the next one, though. I think we got a fair taste of this one. Very difficult. Very cute, though. I like the sprites. These carts also get pretty warm. That's for sure. Cassette vision gets pretty warm. It's pretty compact, but yeah, it gets pretty warm. It means it's probably not good to play this thing for like hours and hours on end. Let's see. Let's try this one. This is like one of the last of the originals. There's a couple of ports. Oh, the color for this one, by the way, is a light pink. No, they're not actually cassettes. Um, they're cards. But Japan refers to them as cassettes. This is Tauntaun Ball. Those guys remind me of Dr. Mario. Hello, Simon, by the way. Oh, hell no, not expert. Wow, I love how this game defaults to expert. The hell is that? So we gotta knock these little piggy balls into the holders, while avoiding the enemies. And that's it. Nice and simple. Probably way easier said than done, though. Oh my god, I hit him and now he's mad. Okay. The combo. So I don't think there's a way for me to kick this. I'm trying to see if the buttons do anything. Actually, they do. Yeah, that kicks it. Oh, he knocked it in for me. Nice. The kick. Nice. Ah, this is actually kind of fun. Oh, he put it in for me. So that's actually... That's something valid to do. Leave it in an enemy's path and he'll, like, knock it in. It's got some cool little physics in here. How am I gonna get this out of the corner? Not sure how I'm gonna. Oh, there we go. Cross the screen. Nice. I go through that. Oh. Teaching the kids how to gamble at a young age. I like it. Okay, so definitely moving diagonally or horizontally is faster. If you're moving vertically, you go super slow. Okay, this guy is not letting me pass.
Hmm. So you can actually play this game without enemies, but I think that's way less interesting. The enemies actually make this pretty fun. I wish there was a way that you could actually destroy enemies, though, if you hit them enough. I guess the closest thing to destroying them is hitting them a few times to stun them. I'm stuck. <sighs> I couldn't get out. I highly doubt it would be faster with enemies. The, the challenge of having to dodge them would slow it down for sure. what I just did there. <laughs> oh. Hit him. Whew. Got out. Just need to get two more, three more in. Who do we got here? Jaws fucking up Super Train Station H with the sub. Thanks, Jaws. Enjoy those emotes, H. Courtesy of Jaws. The real emote is back, by the way. Kept forgetting to add that back in. Door Klonoa is on a break. Okay, I gotta combo this off the wall. Maybe he'll knock it in for me. Yeah, he might. If he keeps going down. He's totally knocking it in. Oh my god, the enemy combo! That is so awesome. I'm actually really loving this game. So if you can recognize the pattern that they're going on, you can, like, leave a Tauntaun ball in front of them for them to hit in. Look out! Keep him stunned, please. Okay. Oh, I couldn't move. S-Pack getting the hookup next. Jaws keeping you guys on your sub streaks for free. Thanks, Jaws. Getting super close to that crazy sub gift milestone. Oh no. Oh. Oh. Okay, so you can manipulate their AI if they seem to lose sight of you. scenes are in this? Like, how many levels? This has some serious speedrun potential. Probably would drive me absolutely insane, so I probably wouldn't stick with it too long. Because trying to optimize this game would be... <laughs> Holy moly. Don't think I'd want to live to see that day. But it could be super fun. Get 
right in between these two bouncing balls. There we go. Please combo. I'm in trouble. Oh my god, that was so close. I like the fact that they're not, like, super persistent at following. Oh, oh. Simon is next in line. Getting the hookup of a free sub. Simon, get to enjoy those dank emotes. Thank you, Joe's. Enjoy those emotes, Simon. if they actually hit the jackpot. I'm gonna try and move this one into the top left. Oh! The combo! God, this game is fucking cool. I love this. Come on, you can push it in. That's it. That's it! A little bit more. Let me see if I can actually lure him down here without getting the attention of the other one. Now, Jaws. Now, don't do... You know what I tell you about going too crazy. You gotta, you know... Think of all the magic cards you can buy with that. But I always appreciate it. Thanks, Jaws. Helping out PK Blazin. Who also gave a thousand bits tonight. With half a year sub. Okay, he's infinitely stuck now. Shoot. Oh, no. Okay, how are we going to do this? What's up, Aldrich? Yeah, it actually came uh, a day or two ago. Aldrich helped hook me up, well, helped me acquire a couple of the games that I played tonight. Because some of them are definitely harder to get than others. Alright, we're going to go for it. Oh, we made it in. I really hope this game doesn't have too many scenes, because I will speedrun the shit out of this game. Too much fun. Get up there. popped in every one of my games before I started the stream to make sure that they worked. Um, all the ones you sent me, I have played. This is actually the last one. Let's see if I can combo that into there. Oh my god. No, don't get stuck. For the love of Tauntaun, do not get stuck. Uh oh. How the fuck? How are you supposed to get this out of here? Okay, I think I need to clear that purple ball. So I need to... Let's just do this. Oh, um, that's the last one, too. Uh, well, I've already committed to this. Wait a minute, I, I, I can still use this one. I need to try and use this one to clear that purple ball. Shit. Um, it's definitely not a common console, the Supervision. Super Cassette Vision, I should say. Okay, now I gotta 
try and get you unstuck before the enemies come. Okay. It should pop, if it doesn't pop up for you tonight, Matt, um, it should pop up within the next few days. It's usually how it happens. Thanks for the sub, regardless. It should give you the notification soon, though. Usually means they're doing it a little ahead of schedule. AI, don't see me. And go down. Go. Don't notice me. They definitely don't like the bottom corner. I'm gonna get out of here though, I don't know. I think I'm dead. Oh my god! The MLG plays right there. Oh shit. Couldn't... You move too slow freaking vertically. Yeah, the one thing that this console is supposed to be really good at is displaying many moving sprites at once. I will show you guys the the, the screen that displays without a con uh, cart in the console. And it'll kind of show you, like, in some ways how it was pretty superior in that regard to the NES in terms of just technical power. Not this again. Joystick for a second there. Get some balls bouncing. Go. Talking about. I, I just the sound effects are just so satisfying in this. I know it sounds obnoxious, but it sounds like like you know, it's like you're playing an arcade game, like a pinball machine almost. Ooh, this could be my opportunity here. Combo that. Shoot. Come on. Lure them over here. That's it. This? Wait, wait, watch. I'm gonna combo this into him to stun him. Or do that. Shit! No! Damn. If only you moved a little... Faster when you're going vertical. Let's see what expert is. This is what the default is on top. See, now I don't agree with this being expert. This has got to be, like, easy or something, because there's no enemies, which I think is way less interesting. But this is probably, like, the most marathon-safe category, I would assume. Unless they introduce enemies eventually. But I find it way more fun with enemies. Oh, maybe I was playing on the hardest difficulty this whole time. Let me see, hold on. Let's do two players this way. Ah, there we go. 
now it works. Thanks, Matt, for the four months. See? It takes a little bit, and eventually they push it forward. So this is supposed to be pro. Um, maybe it's based on... I don't know. I'd have to play it more to figure out what the difference is. Discord, I haven't seen it, if you sent it recently. Um, most of those games, though, I honestly did buy for stocking up my table at the convention, so probably whatever, um, if that's what you're referring to. Whatever's left over after that, I'll probably try selling online. At least these boxes have a nice hit detection, though, like... They're definitely not stingy with knocking it in. Shit. No! Thanks, Siraki, for the host. Finally added a damn little sound effect for hosts and raids, because... People were hosting and raiding me, and... Sometimes I was missing them because I have no sound effect. Are you kidding me, game? Making a break for it. Are these, like, safe area? Oh, definitely not a safe area. Okay, let's combo this. Hmm. Yes, push it this way. Come this way, that's it. That's it. Now come this way. I'm manipulating the enemy into pushing it where I want it to be. Huh. I never thought about that. Ah, but he's pushing it the wrong way now. The flickering? It's probably just some kind of noise. I'm sure that's kind of expected for something this old. Could be the cart, could be the console, could be the cable. Either way, it doesn't really bother me. Looks kind of... still looks nice. Not gonna worry about it, because there's not much she can do. Black magic! Thanks for the 27 months, Black Magic. Getting closer to the big 3-0. Alright, enemy. Yeah, not not any there's actually, believe it or not. Oh, I must oh I ran out of time, shoot. There's no flicker in any of these cassette vision games on sprites, which is kind of cool. Oh, those are warp holes. Very interesting. So I can do this. If I can get them into the hole, they'll warp. S somewhere with. Yeah, that's. that's cool. Mm, go, go, go. <laughs> he 
knock that one in for me. Okay, we might be done. As long as I can get this guy to not follow me. I'm gonna push it. Damn it. This would actually be a really fun level once you memorize what holes go, like, where they warp to. You could do some crazy combos. I'm gonna take it slow and steady here. And go for the shot. Missed. Going for it. Got it. level. <laughs> well, they just activated it for me. You know, I'm thinking expert, maybe you have less time than pro. We need to free up some of these colored balls, though. So I can get them in. gonna get caught. Moving up and down is just so bad when you can avoid it. If I can get him to kick it in here. just so slow to move that way but I couldn't I couldn't avoid it well, this is a fun one I like this one a lot I'd say this is definitely like one of the top three so far but we move on just for the sake of checking out everything else here's the cart by the way a light pink I should have kept all the cards out of the box, and then at the end, show you the rainbow colors. They're quite colorful. Jumble Junkie is back out of nowhere. Thanks, Jumble Junkie, for the nine months. How have you been, by the way? Ooh, we still got this game. That's fun looking. That's a port, that's a port, that's... I think that's a port. Let's play a shoot 'em up Or more so a... Space Invaders type game. This one is in a dark, deep, red cartridge. I see speedrun potential in a lot of these games, yes. Astro Wars. The only game to receive a direct sequel on the console, but I don't have the sequel yet. Alright, oh, I was going to show you what appears when you put a no cart in the system. So yeah, for those of you that were wondering how many sprites this thing can handle without flicker, eat your heart out, NES aficionados.
Now, I remember when I looked at a little bit of gameplay of this? This game looks really, really hard. So don't expect me to be able to do much. Really cool title screen, though. Just appreciating the music, you know? Push select key. That's number seven on the keypad. We're definitely doing amateur. Definitely not a ripoff of the Star Wars logo, by the way. How could it be? Oh, wow, this actually controls better than I thought it would. Holy shit. Maybe it's the second one that looked impossible? Oh, this one's actually pretty badass. Really cool sound effects, too, my god. Need explosions? And finally, the freaking nub feels at home on this game. Wow, they... they nailed the sound effects in this. No! Extra Wars is an arcade game? Ah, okay. So it's a port of an arcade game. How does it look compared? Wait, you actually have a boss battle against this thing? Oh my god, that is hard. This is probably what I saw on YouTube, and I'm like, what the fuck? Because this don't play around. Am I just supposed to survive? Is that the idea of what that was there? Oh man, I almost had him. I like how our surviving ships are like going up in the space. That's a really neat idea. Cool game. Gotta say, I'm usually kind of bored by like most Space Invaders clones, but this one's pretty awesome. I think it's just like the super bright colors that I love. Alright, this is more about just surviving for sure. I mean, unless I'm supposed no. Yeah, it's just about surviving. Where's my ship?
Wow, this game gets hard fast. Oh, I think that's game over. Yep. Wow, that's hard. Maybe I should try... I want to try holding this controller a little differently. It gets a little uncomfortable in this game. Just something that I can have a bit more control over. This might work better. Pressing up to go left, pressing down, I'm holding it horizontally instead. Okay, pressing up and down to go left and right is going to take a little getting used to for sure. Just allows me to get a better grip. Yeah, this is not gonna work. Hold on, I gotta go back. Come on. It does feel like there is, like, slight delay in this because of how many sprites are going on. Sometimes I feel like when I press the button, it could be either, like, delay in uh, how often I'm supposed to be able to shoot, or it could be a slight delay in, like, actually pressing the button. I can't tell you. I'm thinking staying in one of the corners might be safest. No, because there doesn't seem to be lag any other point. Like, this is the first game I've noticed that. It does seem to be, like... Potential lag from sprites, I can't tell. I think it's more so, actually, I can't fire as... Well, actually, I can fire pretty damn fast there. Jesus Christ. Actually, when they start getting fast like that, I can't keep up with it. One survivor. Yeah, this is from the console. This little ship's gotta survive. No, little Jimmy couldn't bring it home. Planet is destroyed. No, but this lag is too, um... It's too noticeable to be 4 to 5 frames. It's probably just, like, rate of fire. I'm trying the fire too soon or something, who knows. when they, like, are they firing back or something? 
Maybe I should actually tap both buttons, both fire. The bastards getting my freaking shields. Of course. Easily depleted at the end, though. Wake up, sleeping lurkers. This is the perfect game to wake you all up. That alarm clock sounds. Come on, fucking fire. Yeah, it gets to be fucking laggy. Like, I'm pressing fire, but it's not firing. It's gotta be amount, either amount of sprites, lag from scaler, I don't know what it is, or just the game, like, you know, just not being able to keep up with that rapid fire. Probably just supposed to try and time it a bit more methodically. Oh my god. Wow. Dread this thing now. Damn, like, it's just so hard to anticipate. Because you think it's only going to bounce off the wall, but no, that shit's bouncing mid-screen. And just like that. that th these screens are the killers. I mean, you can see the lag when the, the invaders, like, come out and start moving. So yeah, it's just gotta be that this game is dealing with so much shit on the screen. Can't always keep up with my rate of fire. Because right now I'm mashing. This is mashing speed of bullets. But other times you will notice that it fires a lot faster. It probably has to do with actually, yeah, it's one of those things where if you shoot something close to you, it's gonna let you fire again sooner. So in other words, if I miss a shot... Okay, th I've noticed what it is. I see what the problem is. You can't fire another bullet until your bullet's left the screen. So that's why I was kind of like, why is it lagging? It's not lag. You can only have one bullet on the screen at a time. So that's why sometimes it seems like I'm doing rapid fire. When it's just because I'm hitting enemies quickly. Come the fuck on. No, this isn't lag from that. This is definitely one bullet on this screen at once. Because I haven't noticed any input lag whatsoever tonight that would be noticeable. You gotta be fucking joking me. That fake out. 
Jeez, that is hard. That's the life drainer right there. I mean, it makes sense if this is based off of an arcade game. They want to drain your quarters, and that's how they do it right there. Come on. Where am I? Where did I spawn? I think the game is just like no spawn for you. Well, there goes all my lives. Not so much lives, I guess it's more just like bonus points. And here's where I go to die. I couldn't, like, even if I tried to move to the right, dead anyway. I think the one thing I'm learning against this boss is you cannot pin yourself in a corner. Because when they get that angle on you, it's over. There's Padrino with the triple three, tier three, 33 months, for 33 months in a row. That's as many threes as you can possibly ever see. Thank you, Padrino. You were blessed to you as well, by the way. You little bastard. Okay, that was actually pretty decent. Definitely one of the better Space Invaders clones out there, though. This is fun. Very difficult, especially this part. But, you know, that's how these games are designed. My trick for this is going to be to stay in the center. I don't want to pin myself against the corner. Yeah, if you miss a shot, very deadly. Because I can't fire again until my bullet's off the screen. Now that I know that. Ooh, man. Caught me on the last one. Scrub Lord confirmed. Thank you for the raid. Welcome. Appreciate it. I, f I, I hope that none of your... Uh... Well, actually, if they join the raid, they're not sleeping, I was gonna say, because this game's got some sound effects like an alarm clock. Yeah, thank you. For the raid. No. <laughs> Just goes to crap. Nice. What time did you end up getting? It's a really fun speedrun. Hard to stream, though. I would play more Extreme G3, but 
It's the kind of game where, like, when you stream it, you pretty much sacrifice ever reading your chat. And it's not for short bursts of time, either. That game is actually pretty long. Yeah, I don't remember what my old time was. I couldn't tell you. Um, I can never guarantee when I'll return to a speedrun. Gotta really feel in the mood. And typically if I return, it probably wouldn't be that long. I never really pick a speedrun and stick with it for awfully long. Except for a few exceptions. But maybe one day you'll see me come back. Just not anytime soon, probably. I'm fucking dead. L look at this. This game is freaking insane. <laughs> Jesus, you gotta be on your A-game. Looks like you can choose which launch bay you want to launch from, too. That's cool. Wow. That is a hard game. Fun, though. I like the colors. Very colorful. Okay. Let's see. I got a couple left. Um, we should try this one. I don't know if this is. I think this is an original. Oh, I love the color on this card. We got super bright orange on this one. Punch Boy. Oh, you guys are gonna love the music in this game. You ready? That's music created when I'm moving, by the way. <laughs> I actually have no idea what I'm doing. I mean, I'm assuming I gotta kill these dragon things. Maybe I gotta... I think I gotta punch these boxes in the corners. Oh, shoot. Okay, oh, okay. We gotta get the combos going. Okay, I can roll myself with a rock. Hello? There we go. Oh, man. Alright, he caught me. 
gonna have to get used to this one. Oh, it looks like I can manipulate their s Fuck! I gotta remember not to punch a rock. Maybe I can manipulate, like, the position of the rocks? If there's no wall in front of them? For example, if I... I guess this one's opening. Oh, I might be dead. Wow. This game is hard, holy shit. they spawn down there. So what does this need to charge up again before I can use it or something? What it looks like. Wow, they can shoot through the wall. detection through these walls is a little rough. Oh my god, wrong side. Of course, they all moved. Wow, that is so cheap. Come on. Firing through the walls? Come on. As if this game needed one more thing to make it harder. I can kind of like get that. I'll try and get that in front of the punching thing. I just hate how I get caught on the corners when I'm trying to move. He stole the key. God damn it. Hope you guys are enjoying the sounds of this game, by the way. That's why I bought it. So, how do I unlock these things to use again? Oh. Well, that answers that.
Come on. You want to? Go left. Yes. Yes. Nice. Okay. Um, no, not really, Caliber. I don't play on the go. Because typically if I'm playing a game, I'm streaming it. Now what? Do I need to roll these balls into the center? Oh, I thought I tried doing that. This game has really bad, like, movement detection around corners. I'm sure this level's gonna be really easy. Shoot. Wasted it. what they want you to do with this. What the heck? I tried doing that so much. Now it works. Well, I have absolutely no, here. no idea how I'm going to survive this. As edge guarding. These things seem like they need a key. Oh my god. That does not go far. Well, I am curious to see... Oh my god, the controls in this are really bad, though, I'm gonna, gonna admit. Just getting around corners is so difficult. Yeah, white lines, but to get the white lines back, um, I don't know how to do that in this level. Because there was a way to free them up with keys in the previous level, but... Um, I don't see any keys. Definitely don't know what to do here. Not the biggest fan of this one, because the controls are really bad. Let's try, try that one again, but this time, try and be a little bit more patient on the second level. I wish there was a way to influence which way, which way these guys go. Oh, 
No, no step down. Risky. Which is why I probably should not stream this too long tonight. Well, it's not so much music, it's the noise that he makes when he moves. I think it's kind of cute. Ear grating? Absolutely. But it's cute. Because the enemies have their own noise. Either I'm just bad at this game, or it's just too hard for me. One or the two. Yeah, because I did notice the cassette vision is getting quite warm. Which I don't want it to damage it. They just never go to the spots that I need them to go to. Don't you freaking dare. If I punch those blocks, I'm gonna die. Oh my god. I had to get them out of there, though. I needed to free that up. Not the biggest fan of this one. I mean, it seems like a cute game. It could be fun if you get the hang of it, but I'm not getting the hang of it. A little too difficult. Go down. Oh my god. Getting caught up on the corners again. Gold rock means that they're about to hatch from the rock.
All under bucks. Now this one is hard, because I don't see the keys to, like, unfree these things once I use them. I think that's the first one I've killed of these things. There sure are plenty of them. Look how happy they are, though, when the sprite's running down. Can't go up. I'm about to find out what happens when I land on this rock. Oh. I used that one already? Wait. So there's only one left. Take them by surprise. Nope. Metal Gear, this is not. And that didn't even combo. Man, what the heck? I'm just moving around extra so you guys can listen to the music more because I know you like it. I see how this works. When you kill one and they're all taken, one will free itself up. One at a time. Or if I get a kill with... I think the adjacent one will free itself up. So if I get a kill with this one up here, for example, the other one will open up in the bottom left. Never mind, that's a green one. I have to get a kill with uh, the bottom right. random. So one at random will open up. This is a long level. One at a time. Hey, Patora. Oh, he tricked me. Damn it. <laughs> well, I had a good run on that one. Do I still have lives? I do. Thanks for the bits, Patora. I bet you this game doesn't have that many levels, that's why these are intentionally pretty long. Yep. 
Gotta wait. Yeah, I'm probably gonna end the stream after this game, because I'm putting my hand on the cassette vision right now, and that shit is, like, getting pretty hot. So I don't want to kill it. But, uh, next stream, we will do the remaining couple of games. There were only a few more. Nothing too crazy. But I would like to revisit some of the others and maybe try and, uh, make more progress in the ones I like. Some of them are pretty goddamn fun. Oh, shoot. Like, I don't know if it's normal for it to be that hot, but I don't like the temperature that it is running at. Oh, come on. You just had to turn that way. This is maddening. The fact that you can only do one at a time is ridiculous. Yeah. Like I was mentioned, I'll have to look into a step down converter. Like, I've used some Japanese consoles just fine for a long time without having to use one, but I just don't like how this one is feeling. Come on. Try and lure him over. Well, I know what I'm gonna add is a sub sound uh, or a follow notification sound. Now, could you imagine? My God, come on! Holy Christ! Is it hot enough to cook on? Uh, no, but it's pretty warm. Oh, what is this? Interesting. I assume I just gotta get to the top. Up. Not sure. The guys in the windows, maybe. This is what's represented on the cover. Okay, punch him in the face. Man, I wish the rest of the game would have been this. this these levels are way more fun. Can I not go down there? Yeah. 
again. Not gonna find out if the mice can kill me yet. <laughs> I've been avoiding them this whole time. Taboo, thank you for the seven Hope your months. Friday has been going well, Pete. Oh, well, it's been a great Friday. You know, what better way to spend it than with uh, Super Cassette Vision? Oh, please let this actually be the end of the game. I mean, it sure as hell, lo sure as hell looks like it. Or is it looping? I think it's looping. I beat the game. Nice. <laughs> okay, that's... Certainly speed runnable. That's short enough. Yep, it's looping. We beat a game, holy crap. That's a cute little ending. Oh. Let's see. I mean... <sighs> How many more do I have? Yeah, I still got three games. Maybe what I can do before the next stream of this, I can pick up, like, maybe one or two more. Um, or just, you know, play the three that are left and um, just play the ones that I, I liked more after that. But, uh, yeah, I don't like how hot this thing is getting. Like, around where you put the cart, it's pretty fucking hot, so... Gonna have to look into getting a converter for the ACL. Let's see if that helps. And, uh, yeah. I don't want to cook the innards of this thing. Because, uh, f four hours is pushing it, I think, on this. But, I know there's one song that you guys want to hear before we end the stream tonight. It has been fun. Let me show you, though, before we go, I just want to show you the, um, the myriad of colors of the carts next to one another, because it is kind of fun to see. Just take out a couple, not too many of them. We'll stack them. Really fun packaging on these games. All of which are... Colors. I think some of them eventually repeat. Uh, so just for example... The one that's in the console right now is a bright orange. But uh, here's just a small sampling. All different colors. Super pretty. Like the Famicom, but even brighter, some of them. I was going to torture you guys with more of the music from this game, but <laughs> I will spare you. See? Bright orange. I think some of them are green. Let me see, actually. Take a sneak peek at these other games. That's a dark green. This one. A white. We know which game is going to be the most boring. Don't judge a game by its color. You know what they say. And that one's sort of like a purple. No bright greens. Anyway, one last look at the controller in case you were wondering what the heck I was fighting with. This is the little bastard right here. Fits in the palm of your hand. You can hear the squeaky, squeakiness of the buttons. Tiny little knob, the littlest knob you've, you ever did see. Right there. Imagine playing the platformer game with this. That YY game was awesome. I definitely can't wait to try and go back to that and beat it. We are taking down... Apparently the final boss is not Dracula, by the way. Let me look at the cover here. Final boss... They got Dracula, Frankenstein, the mummy, Wolfman, Kappa, Fish Boss, and what appears to be... I have no idea what that is. Some kind of giant... Marshmallow Man. This game is cool, though. Very, very early mascot platformer, which love my platformers. Anyway, I guess you guys are going out in silence. 
Uh, next stream, we will see. I'm not sure what it'll be. Um, I may need to take tomorrow from streaming, but we'll see. Um, I was actually feeling kind of... My legs were a little weak today from streaming Sonic, Team Sonic Racing for almost 10 hours straight yesterday. So I may need to take a day and go out in the sun, get some uh, some sunshine and take it easy, but we'll see. If I'm back tomorrow, I think I have an idea of what I'll play. Uh, still not going to be Team Sonic Racing. I need to give my finger a break from that game. It's been um, It's been a little intense. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching, everybody. Hopefully you had fun watching the Super Cassette Vision. Got a few more games to play, and we're going to go back and revisit, possibly speedrun, some of these games. So, look forward to that. You guys have a good night.